I take my custards out of the oven. I'm worried about this. You know, it's the element that has the lobster in, so I don't want to have it be a flop. 60 seconds, and then it's over. 60 seconds, here we go. First thing I need to do is to get my lobster sauce going so that I can make the custard. I've got to bake my custard for about 20, 25 minutes. I'm really cutting it fine with this. I just start hacking away at the shells, trying to get them into small pieces so that I can fry them out to get the colors and the flavor coming out. So I decided to go with pasta. I am not entirely sure if self-raising flour is going to work because it's got the baking powder, which means that things expand. I've only made pasta once before, but I'm quite certain about my sauce. What I plan to do is put in lots of aromatics and take the crayfish tails out of the shell, put the shells into the sauce so that you get some of that crayfishness coming through. All right, comedy. Chef. My favorite ingredient, West Coast Rock Lobster. What are you going to do with it? I am making some cayenne pepper uh, pasta with a spicy fennel and tomato uh, sauce to go with the lobster. You're making pasta with self-raising flour. OK. Fingers That's crossed, Chef. Risk. I know. We'll see if that works. It's got baking powder in it, so it could go horribly wrong. And what is the, what is the sauce going to be? The sauce is going to be uh, tomato based with the fennel and I've got the lobster shells in there for a little bit of extra flavour and then I'll put the lobster in at the end. That sounds a little bit interesting. I'm not convinced about uh, self-raising self flour. Self flour. That's a... Let's see. I'll leave you to it then. The whole time I'm thinking, has she somehow like developed this new recipe that she's going to blow us out the water and produce this amazing pasta? But I, I immediately worry. The custard is meant to be nice and firm, nice and smooth. Now I'm tempering in the eggs. So I want to get the mixture nice and thick before I put it into the oven. To take a beautiful rock lobster and make that, that said custard, it's so brave, it's so Leandri. You got 20 minutes left for this challenge. Who's gonna take the lead in this first challenge? Come on, guys. 20 minutes. 20 minutes to go and she hasn't put this custard in the oven yet. Finally she gets one in and we just, all of us just heave a sigh of relief. You roll out sheets of pasta and then sort of roll them into, into rounds. You can slice it and so it comes up looking a bit like linguine. Carmeli puts her pasta in the boiling water and she'd rolled it out really thinly which definitely would have helped. Please, please let it come out fine. Oh, what am I doing? Long pot. In a moment of absent-mindedness, I start sprinkling sugar over my soup instead of into the fennel pot. My bad. Taste and adjust. Oh, boy. So I have to correct this quickly. So I take the brine from the olives, hoping that it just cancels out the sweetness. I mix in some creme fraiche as well. You guys have got two minutes to finish off your dishes. Really can't wait to taste these creations. I decided to take the crayfish shells out. The tomatoes that I put in earlier are nice and soft now and then I remember that there's some creme fraiche underneath the counter. Creme fraiche is good. How rich is that, Carmony? It looks divine. I know it. That is my kind of food, babe. <laughs> I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to come out al dente and, and good. I think every single person on that gallery is holding their breath just watching. This is fantastic. And when she pulled that first batch of pasta out and they were paper thin, I thought, thank goodness. Everyone on the gallery is frazzled and nervous and stressed about custards that haven't been turned out yet and plating that hasn't been completed. Carmen, you chose the wrong plate. You should use a bowl a for bowl pasta. Of pasta. You don't put pasta on a flat plate. 
I take my custards out of the oven. I'm worried about this. You know, it's the element that has the lobster in, so I don't want to have it be a flop. 60 seconds, and then it's over. 60 seconds, here we go. dish like that when somebody on the other side plates a pasta that is that is putting it all on the line that's my sister how was it having family around it was wonderful to have my family right there they were supportive and they were encouraging me so I actually really enjoyed it the yeah, Andrea custard quite adventurous for 45 minutes this would have been a little more appropriate for a one hour challenge, I think. But I wanted to push myself, so I think I did. Thanks, Leandri, we're gonna have a taste. Okay, I hope you enjoy it, chefs. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I like the idea that she's actually got quite a few different elements. Mm -hmm. Nice consistency. But don't be shy with the lobster, Benny. You know what I'm saying? Now the balance on that soup, it was quite over the top. I think she might have actually added a bit too much brine. So that sugar factor of too much sugar going in, she had tried to offset it. It's a little bit on the salty side. The custard and the beautifully cooked lobster tail is, is completely lost in the soup. Because of that brine now, it changed the whole complexity of the dish. Everything now is thrown off balance. Yeah. You definitely have to say that this was a valiant attempt because I would have done less elements if I only had 45 minutes. Yeah. What I'm seeing is her confidence, her growth in this. Yeah, without a doubt. To get a good dish, you need that presentation, the preparation, the skill, taste, and they all play an integral part in our scoring. So let's go from 100. Comedy. Comedy, what have you prepared for us today? I did a telly telly. It's a tomato-based fennel sauce with a bit of creme fraiche, and it's got those beautiful West Coast rock lobster running through it. The first thing that stands out for me is why would you serve pasta on a flat plate as opposed to in a bowl? I thought of that. I like the negative space element, presentation-wise. It's about having to eat it, and having the raised edges of a bowl helps you be able to twirl the pasta and get all the sauce. Kamini, it's not the most presentable dish that I've seen. Yes, it's not really. Um, the most eye-catching of my dishes, but it's a good taste. Well, we're going to taste and see if it pleases us too. Thank you, Carmeny. Thanks, Enjoy. Okay. Compared to Leandri, I mean, there isn't a lot of elements that have gone into this dish. If this doesn't wow us when we eat it, she's in trouble. Lovely. Mm. I've That's got a good. different perspective now that I've actually tasted it. Mm. <laughs> oh, is there more? Throughout this competition, we've been saying to all the contestants, if you're going to do a simple plate of food, make sure it's the best plate of simple food that you've ever done. The taste has got to be yeah. spot on. And that taste in that pasta was spot on. Yeah, simple. The pasta is done perfectly. It just melts in your mouth. 
This is a lovely, rich, tomatoey cream sauce that has a hint of lobster in it. And all the lobster flavor you need, you get out of the beautifully cooked tail. Spot on.